Hey, Psych2Goers. Have you ever wondered if there are other signs that you're intelligent? You know, besides that IQ score and grade on your math test. There are many ways people measure intelligence in others, and there are some pretty common signs to tell if someone might be smart. But what about the less obvious signs? Here are a few bizarre signs that you're likely an intelligent person. Number one, the sound of chewing is annoying to you. Do you hate the sound of chewing? Is your sister chewing a bacon sandwich with crunchy chips right beside you as you scream internally? Well, if that chewy sound really gets on your nerves, you may just have a greater level of creative cognition. In a study from Northwestern University, subjects who often had a hard time filtering out unnecessary sensory information were tested and found to have a high score in creative cognition. These subjects were found to have what some researchers call leaky sensory gating. As the researchers of the study explain, leaky sensory gating may help people integrate ideas that are outside of the focus of attention, leading to creativity in the real world. Number two, you're a bit of a couch potato. Are you a couch potato? Well, you may be smarter than you think, depending on how much you spend time thinking. In a 2016 study from Florida Gulf Coast University, researchers surveyed students by asking if they enjoyed thinking or if they enjoyed activities that required less thought. The subjects were then divided into two groups of non-thinkers and thinkers. After a week of monitoring the subject's physical activity, they found non-thinkers were more physically active than those who were deemed thinkers. Authors associate this with the idea that thinkers can entertain themselves mentally, while non-thinkers easily get bored and relate mental stimulation as a negative compared to how the thinkers see it as a positive. Number three, you like to doodle. Do you love to doodle during class at home? Well, your memory may just thank you. A 2009 study found that subjects in a group that doodled performed better on a monitoring task. And on a surprise memory test, they recalled 29% more information than the other group. What exactly were they doodling? They simply shaded printed shapes while listening to a phone call. So next time you have to remember something important during that class lecture, bring the coloring books, not the textbooks. I'm just kidding, a little bit. Number four, you're the eldest child. Are you the eldest child? Well, lucky for you, this is another weird sign you're likely more intelligent and maybe smarter than your siblings. Researchers from a study published in the Journal of Human Resources suggest that firstborns may be smarter than their siblings, as they often have higher IQs. They also found the oldest siblings often do better at cognitive tests. Researchers believe this is due to the greater type of parenting the first child experiences. A firstborn child might have more mental stimulation presented to them. And first time parents are more likely to be more cautious with their first pregnancy by not drinking or smoking. Number five. You live in a disorderly environment. Look around, is your room a mess? How about your workspace? How's the hair doing up there? Well, a messy environment might not be so bad if you value creativity. According to a research experiment from the University of Minnesota, participants in a disorderly room are more creative than participants in an orderly room, the study says. Why does creativity spark in a messy environment? Research scientist, Jonathan Y, PhD, says, that smarter people tend to have creativity as a trait, which can lead to their messy lifestyle or room. Why guesses that it's not messiness that helps creativity, but creativity which may create messiness. He goes on to say that such people tend to get lost in a thought focusing on a problem or issue, and cleanliness becomes of less importance than focusing on the problem at hand. While the messy room sounds great for all the artists out there, it may not be great when it comes to your food choices. In the University of Minnesota's study, their first experiment showed that relative to participants in a disorderly room, participants in an orderly room chose healthier snacks and donated more money. To clean or not to clean? That is the question. And number six, you swear. How often do you swear? Was the childhood swear jar often filled to the max due to your foul language? Timothy J, PhD, a well-known expert in cursing, conducted a study with his colleagues and found that those who came up with more curse words generally had a larger vocabulary. Jay told Medical Daily that taboo or swear word fluency is positively correlated with overall verbal fluency. Dr. Jay told Medical Daily that the more words you generated in one category meant the more words you generated in another category, orally and verbally. Time to bring out the swear jar and start counting your quarters. Be prepared to say goodbye as you test out this theory. How many swear words can you come up with in your head in 30 seconds? In your head, in your head, not out loud. The swear jar is full enough as it is. 
Share that number with us down in the comments, folks. Only the number. So which weird science do you relate to? Are you a thinker or do you prefer physical activities more? Are you a couch potato? The oldest sibling? How often do you swear? Do you think you're more intelligent because of this? Share with us your thoughts in the comments below. We hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to click the like button and share it with a friend. Subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell icon for more content like this. As always, thanks for watching.